Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Finally, I'm doing a special effects look and it's something super, super simple. All you need is some liquid latex, any little container you won't be needing to put the liquid latex on and some face paint. Oh, and also some time and patience. So when it dries off, yeah, it doesn't dry off super, super fast. Excuse the loud noise in the back. Those are my little nephews getting ready to go to Target with my sister for a pickup. So obviously they get jealous of who's going and who's not going. But anyways, back to my video. Uh, right here, I'm just creating uh, the wound on how I want it to look. I wanted to do a big wound and some smaller ones so you can see the difference also. First thing I'm doing is layering the center a little bit more and then after that I just go back in and I add a thin coat of liquid latex on the sides and I also blend them in together so you see that here that way you you don't have like this thick chunk of just liquid latex just sitting there and it's looking like it's actually part of your skin <clears throat> and as you can tell, it's already um, diluting, which is getting, that means it's getting a little bit darker in color. You can tell the difference, which one's still wet and which one's drier. So when it dilutes, just remember it does dry off a little bit darker than the actual color. And boom, there it is. That's how it looks completely dry. So remember, if you are going to be using liquid latex, you do need some time for it to dry. Uh, so start a little bit early. Now you can see the color difference there it changed a lot. That one looks a little bit more tan. Now I'm just going back in to add a thicker layer on top of I believe that's already a third coat, if I'm not mistaken, just to get more texture when I cut through the liquid latex. And it gives it that actual skin-like illusion that you'll be seeing pretty soon. So with this, you guys, you can literally do anything you want, to be honest. Uh, you can create cuts, just how I'm doing right there, or you can just go in and do little holes if you want or I don't know you, you can do everything so you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing uh, this is just what I decided to go with so yeah and then right here I'm just making sure it gives it that skin like texture also so it blends in onto the skin a lot better and it gives it those little fine lines and details, which really does help. Oh, and I did create, I mentioned this on my little mini haul off of the makeup that I purchased from Mayron. I do have a clown zombie look that I created a few years ago and I used liquid latex, but I also used cotton to give it a different texture. And if you wanna see how that looks, I will post that video down below. I'll put the link to it and at the end of this video so you can see it. So right here, I'm just using a little bit of my foundation. And after the foundation, I add a little, little bit of bronzer just to set it and give it that darker 
look, so when we add the blood, it looks a lot more creepier. So right here I'm just pulling the liquid latex, then I go back in with some scissors and I cut that off just to start giving it a different look. So you can either make little holes like that or go in with the scissors and make the cuts a little bit deeper and longer so you can see what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to be doing the same, same, same thing for the other two sides. Now don't worry if it comes off a little bit. Once you add blood and some of the face paint, and I mean fake blood, it will um, hide all those little, you know, openings or pullaways, you could say, from the liquid latex. Now please you guys, if you do the same thing I'm doing here, just be extra extra careful when you're using scissors. You do not want to cut yourself obviously. Um, so if you are underage, please have somebody else help you with this look. Um, if you are grown, you know what you're getting yourself into, so just be gentle. Take your time, do not rush into this, trust me, if you rush into it, it screws up more. If you actually take your time to create the wound and the cuts, it does come off a lot better. And I do add a couple of cuts going at an angle also just to make it look like the, you know, the skin actually ripped open and it's not just one little straight cut going through. So then right here, I'm going to use the Paradise Makeup and I'm going to just spray the red, the black, and the brown with some setting spray because it is water activated. So I'm gonna grab the red first and I'm gonna fill in the entire openings that I have. And then I'm gonna go back in with some brown and a hint of red to give it like that darker blood look. I don't even think I used the black for this one. I don't even know why I sprayed that. <laughs> All right, and with the same face paint, I go back in and I add blood at random little places just to give it that extra wound look. And when it dries off, it looks like legit blood, you guys. That's pretty awesome. This is why I love, love, love this palette. It literally works wonders. Now, if you are in a rush, this is where you can literally stop and you'd be done with this look. You really wouldn't have to do much. But if you have that extra time and you really want that really gory, bloody look, 
this is where I would go in and add that stage blood, which I will be showing you in a second. But if you don't mind this look right here, then you're literally all set. You're ready to go. You can do this in your hands, your arms, your face, and look at, look how easy that comes off, you guys. Quick peel off. Ah, there you go. So that's the stage of blood. You literally just need a little bit of this. This goes a long, long way. Now this is the one that does not dry. So just remember that if you purchase this one or use this type of blood, it does not dry. It gives it that wet look, which looks pretty disgusting in a good way, in a good spooky way. <laughs> look at that you guys like this is literally like just adds it takes it to a whole nother level my parents saw this and they were like wait is that real blood i'm like no <laughs> but look how nasty that looks which i love because it gives you that you know that extra spook you want to get with your makeup when it comes to Halloween or anything special effects <clears throat> when you're going gory, obviously. There you go. It's easy, super easy to apply. It does get quite sticky. Um, so just remember that also. So be extra careful when you're applying it so you don't pull any of the liquid latex off the area you've applied it to. See how different that looks? It looks pretty awesome. So now, because I love extra, I'm gonna be adding the splatter, the blood splatter, which makes it drip. This one does dry off, which is good. I don't wanna to add too, too much, because I don't want to pull away or make the blood be the main, main focus. You get me? I found too much blood everywhere. So I just added some on those bigger open wounds, just so you could see. Ugh, look you guys. Ew. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to create another video for you guys. This was super, super awesome. Thank you guys so much if you made it all the way to the very end. I appreciate that so much. Please share this video. If you recreate this, please tag me, show me. I love to see it. If you don't mind, if you're brand new, please subscribe for more of these videos. Hit the like button also. I'd really appreciate that so much. Thank you guys again. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys.